Hi, I'm Anthony Alosanya, I'm Peter Wakefield, and this is our project, AutoScheduler. Okay, so what is AutoScheduler? It's a, okay, so here's our, we're going to go over what AutoScheduler is, software that's already out there, what set up AutoScheduler apart from the rest, and how we're going to go about doing this, and what we're going to do in the future. So, what is AutoScheduler? It's a time management add-on for Firefox that allocates and tracks your time as you browse and rather than just making a calendar or a list like some of the other programs do, it sets up a schedule for you based off of inputs that you do and it sort of allocates your time rather than you allocating your time for you. So it can help to reduce indecision and get you just what you need to do at the time that you need to do it. So if you know of something you need to do, you can add it to the queue and it'll determine exactly when you need to do something until you question it at the time. So one of the best parts about it is not everybody is organized and most of the time management tools out there already assume that you are organized to begin with. So what AutoScheduler is doing is taking the responsibility out of your hands and putting it on AutoScheduler. Another advantage of it is the fact that being a plugin uh, running locally on your machine doesn't require signing into any websites. This is more convenient for people starting out who don't really want to sign up for a service. And it's also a privacy benefit because anything that you're putting into it is just sort of on your computer. Okay, so you can track as much as you want or as little as you want, and our goal is to make it as user-friendly as possible. We don't want it to be overly complicated when you start out, or too simple for those who have experience with this kind of thing. And by managing the time, it also opens up the possibility of not only scheduling productive hours, but also interspersing that with distractions specifically designed to keep the user focused on the work and then switching switch back and forth. Um, and eventually, over time, the user might even grow to resent the forced distractions such as only focused on productive stuff. Tracks was a former Arcos project that 
we found very interesting when we started out. We were actually thinking about working off of it. But it's not too easy to set up. You're probably just setting up your own database on your computer, and if you go other places, it might not work as nicely. And for people who are not the most tech savvy, setting up a database and all the things necessary for tracks might not be the best thing. It can get discouraging and put you off using it. Right. It does have some convenient ways of getting it to work, but again, it's a different purpose and it's not directly integrated with the browser like the world. And there are many other applications like this, but nothing that's quite the same. So one of the ideas of this is the focus on having goals and then having subtasks that are associated with those. This sort of thing has been done before. There's a program called Life Balance, which is a native application on the PC, as well as having various uh, apps and stuff available. Um, it is different. It doesn't have quite the same focus on rigidly defining time so much as just this is where your priority is. And it also tries to keep uh, balance on the time you spend overall. Um, it looks like a pretty good piece of software, but again, it, it's not free. And, uh, that is a standard old software. What's that? It's a desktop application. Yes. It has uh, various locations. For it. It's not just a desktop application. Up next is Reminder Fox. It was very simple and it did its job. It will remind you when you need to do something. You set up reminders. It had a snooze option. But all it did was remind you of things you need to get done. It didn't organize things for you and it required you to be organized in the first place, remembering what you needed to remind yourself of. So it's more of a memory application than something that can manage your time effectively. Leech Block is a pretty good application for managing distractions. Uh, it can block various websites, it can block uh, using a certain site or a certain group of sites within a certain amount of time during a larger block of time, or you can just completely block out certain hours of the day. Um, but this doesn't have any knowledge of what you're trying to accomplish at any time. Um, it doesn't integrate with anything like that. And it's, again, pretty rigid. I mean, the fact that you can set it to a limit of a certain number of minutes per larger time um, is pretty good. But we think we can, again, improve on this and make it more useful based on what you're doing at the time. Okay, so this is what sets Auto Scheduler apart from all these other bits of software is that it's more than just a memory aid. It's something that's made to manage your time and to do it for you rather than you being required to stress over organizing everything yourself. Um, it uses knowledge of the tasks that you put in and it regulates them according to a scheduling algorithm that we're going to design that takes into account the length of time that you're supposed to, you're estimating this task is how important it is compared to other tasks. And at any given time, if you have something that comes up that changes your plans, it can adapt to the situation and say, OK, given the fact that you're behind on such and such, this is what you should do right now. So in terms of representing all of this, the thought is that perhaps um, rather than having goals and everything as separate entities, just having tasks be a unified structure that has different elements that's used for representing all the different categories and having a hierarchical representation of linking projects together and have sort of the same type of tree structure that is in uh, white balance, but a little bit more level in terms of how to source things. Um, there'll be restricting conditions so that you have the start time and end time, so you can't start on a project until you know something about you. Um, and the end time and when you're set to finish it. The, uh, interruptibility, if you can be switching between that and something entertaining, then we'll try to do that. Um, of tasks so you have to accomplish something before the other. And then require time, so that'll uh, come into play when you start having metrics about the estimated time that you said, this project will probably take me three hours. And if it ends up taking four hours, you can record that and it'll help you decide how good you are at estimating your time. Um, and then again, the more properties can Figure based on what type of task it is and what, where it fits in the things. Um, we're trying to make this very minimal, not interfering with the browsing, not, make, not cluttering up the interface. Um, 
we'd like to have some sort of tree visualization, just like life balance. And at the same time, another way of looking at it is just the current tasks, so that you're not distracted by all the other things. Um, an interesting possibility, I haven't seen it anywhere, but it just occurred to me recently, um, is typing in a keyword or something to create a particular type of task or some reminder or something. And based on that, it will determine what relevant fields you would actually need to populate for that. Um, so if you want to have just a quick reminder, it'll tell you just when that reminder should pop up. Or if you actually want to have a lengthy process, then you can describe all the details of that. Okay, so our development priorities and our plans for, for right now are to create a database schema and our storage methods using Firefox's built-in SQLite databases. Then we're going to create the interface for adding and managing your tasks. Um, then the automated scheduling algorithm is what really sets us apart, and that's the most important part of us. Uh, we're going to expand our interface to allow browser control so that you can monitor and restrict and manage your browsing rather than being forced to manage your time and sometimes end up procrastinating a bit. Um, we're going to finally allow the browser context switching, which is what forces you to switch between tasks. So say you're doing your work for you know an hour, hour and a half. It'll force you to maybe switch to something else, such as one of your fun relief uh, tabs or something else instead of keeping you on work uh, all the time. And one of the new features of Firefox 4 is actually the panorama feature, which has groups of tabs that it's nearly indistinguishable from having separate windows except it's just one window. And so the tab bar is completely isolated between the separate groups of panorama. And that's a possible nice integration feature to use for this context machine. Okay, so um, one feature possibility is integrating with other organizers like Google Calendar. That's a big one. Um, gamification, making it more interesting for the user. There's the possibility of using the underlying structure of the application with different UI um, for a Firefox mobile add-on. Um, it would require a good redesign of the user experience side of things, but it would probably work to have that mobile aspect of the, the built-in add-ons for it. Um, and uh, support, for, support for multiple users so they can schedule tasks and projects together rather than by themselves, which would be very useful in the business world when you have deadlines and you have to work in a team. That's one of the advantages that the tracks has over this sort of thing, so the, because of the fact that it has a server. Okay, so I'm going to go a bit more in depth into what we mean by gamification. Uh, we've been doing a bit of research on motivation, and games are a great way to motivate people. So we're trying to gamify our time management software. So ways we can do this are by tracking statistics what people do, you know, how well they complete tasks, giving them rewards for their tasks. And I actually tried out another uh, application that tried to gamify to-do lists. But a problem I came across with it was that you could game the system pretty easily and you got to choose your own rewards. What we plan to do with this would be to use the uh, met metrics that we used earlier to, you know, uh, determine how well a person was estimating their time in order to decide the reward. So if somebody you know, says, oh, this will take me nine hours, it takes them three, we're going to give them a much lower reward for their efforts. And then over time, it'll figure out, has this person been lying a lot? Are they good at estimating their time? And start to base rewards off of that. Uh, so it'll automatically sign the rewards. It'll prompt the user to switch between the work and play tabs as sort of a reward for their working. If they're working hard and diligently, we'll have to play for a bit. And that'll be a positive reinforcement to working. And in our goal is to just train the user to become more productive by letting them have fun and do work. 